Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another News Coolum video. So I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different and uh, sort of make an addition to the channel. And part of the reason for that is a lot of the videos I do have to be edited. And so first I'm going to ask you to forgive me if uh, I misspeak or if the video production isn't the greatest just because uh, this is pretty much just going to be an unedited video. But I realized there are a lot of topics I want to talk about, uh, a lot of things that involve uh, the electric vehicle um, infrastructure, the, what's, what's going on in the industry. And these are topics that I'd like to address a little bit more dynamically. I don't have a lot of time because of my commute, how much I'm on the road. And so I, I'd like to do what, uh, what I'll probably end up calling plug side chats. Uh, these are very topical. I want to keep them under, uh, you know, five minutes. But basically the idea is I just want to open up a dialogue uh, about certain topics, uh, respond to articles as they come up, uh, bring, bring up different things within, again, uh, the, the green um, industries, uh, renewable energy, energy, electric cars, things of that nature. And uh, just basically open a dialogue, uh, bring up something to discuss or respond to, to articles, uh, especially if I think that they're misrepresentative. And uh, today, you know, just to sort of kick things off, uh, I wanted to respond to a Motor Trend article that was released. So they actually have uh, Bolt EV as a, a long-term uh, test car. And they just recently posted an article, and I'll provide the link as well. Uh, but essentially what happened is they decided to take the car on a road trip from Southern California up to Central California. And the way they described it is they wanted to sort of compare it with their internal combustion engine vehicles and that experience. Uh, but the problem is I, I feel like they, they're not making an apples to apples comparison. They're, they're making like an apples to meatloaf comparison. It's, it's, uh, Typically, when you want to compare two different things, you try to eliminate as many variables as you possibly can so that you're only comparing those two things. And, and so this article, the way they framed it is like we just it took 20 hours to go 830 miles in a Bolt EV. And that's a trip that our internal combustion engine vehicle can do in nine miles or uh, in nine hours. Well, just doing basic math, yeah, they're not doing eight, uh, 830 miles in nine hours, even in their internal combustion vehicle. What they're, what they're referencing is that they would normally take Interstate 5 from Southern California to the south of Bay Area, basically, Gilroy, San Jose. And that trip, they're saying, would normally take them about four and a half hours each way in their internal combustion car. But instead of taking the more logical route, if time was their concern, and, and driving Highway 99, they decided to take Highway 101. So Highway 99 would add about 30 miles round trip to what would normally be about a 700 mile trip uh, up Interstate 5. Well. Highway 101 adds almost 150 miles. So you're really not even comparing uh, the same route at all. Uh, this, the roads are slower up Highway 101, sometimes significantly so. They, they took the shortest route available up Highway 101, which means that a section of road that they drove about 20 miles is a posted speed limit of 45 to 55 miles per hour. Mind you, if you go up Interstate 5, that's 70 mile an hour posted the entire way. And if you go up Highway 99, likewise, that's mostly uh, uh, 70 miles an hour with some 65 mile an hour sections. And of course, the author also said, oh, well, you know, we would normally just peg the, the cruise control at 80 miles an hour. So they're already saying that they would go 10 miles an hour faster than the posted speed limit, even if they're driving Interstate 5. So all of these factors come in and they went up Highway 101 in the middle of a, a major storm. So uh, those are a number of variables that I don't think uh, give a real fair comparison. 
Uh, and I, I'm not going to say it was done as a hit piece, but I, I do feel like it was uh, a bit of an exaggeration. And, you know, I, I see this happen time and time again, and it, it's been a frustration ever since the Bull DB was released, is, you know, I, I recently posted uh, the, the road trip video from Ventura to Zion National Park, and uh, or at least the first half of that road trip, the second one is pending. And that trip happened within a couple of weeks of Don Hall making her infamous 13-hour trip from San Jose to Pasadena. Now, the fact that I made a trip from Zion back to Ventura in about 10 hours, or I think it might have actually been nine and a half, uh, nobody cared to share that. Green Car Reports didn't uh, respond to my video, didn't ask me for my story or my take. Uh, but Don Hall's experience was posted up, you know, on half dozen, maybe a dozen news sites. So uh, we have this uh, tendency to focus on the negative uh, when I feel that there's just as much to learn from some of the, the positive road trip experiences. And those are rarely shared. My friend Buddy Boyd up in uh, British Columbia, he literally drove his Bolt EV from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean and back again in Canada, I didn't see that get posted all over the place. Yet, you know, it takes 13 hours to, to go from San Jose to Pasadena, and that's that's newsworthy. Or, or now it takes 20 hours to make a 830-mile round trip in a storm. Well, you know, that there may be other factors that you want to look into. And again, if you're going to take a scenic route like Highway 101, you don't really have a place to, to complain about the time. If you were really interested in making that trip quickly and uh, as fast as possible, you would have taken Highway 99. That, that round trip would have taken longer than nine hours, sure, but it in the Bull DV, it would have been closer to probably 12 to 13 hours, so, so not 20. So I, I think it, we need to start asking some of these news publications to stop focusing only on the negatives, right? And, and focus on more realistic trips, uh, the types that people are going to take. Uh, you know, there are going to be hard trips and I'm still compiling videos, trips I've taken Highway 101, trips I've taken Highway 99 that haven't gone the greatest, right? Um, but, you know, they, they, they all sort of, uh, they all sort of add up to, you know, trips. Anytime you go out of town, even if you're an internal combustion engine vehicle, your trips are uncertain. So really, all I'm asking is that if you're going to start posting stories like that, make sure that they're even handed and they're fair comparisons, because we can't keep doing this where you post ideal conditions and ideal trips in an internal combustion engine vehicle and juxtapose that with really difficult trips that happen once every dozen or so times you make a four, five, six, seven, eight hundred mile trip in your EV. So uh, again, you know, I, I, I think we need to start making fair comparisons uh, and I think we need to start, you know, focusing not just on the negative, but actually the positive trips that people have taken, and just to, to let people know that, sure, you could have a hard trip, but it's also possible to go pretty much anywhere in the country in an electric vehicle right now. It doesn't have to be a Tesla, and along the routes with DC fast charging, you can still make it 1,000, 1,200 miles in a day, uh, again, even not in a Tesla. So. Um, yeah, I think we need to, to start doing that. Let me know what you think. Uh, maybe this video turned into a little bit of a rant, went a little bit longer than I thought it would be. But uh, also, I want to, like I said, I want to keep doing this format where, uh, like a plug side chat, uh, I want to I engage you guys, hear what you think about this. Uh, again, I'll put a link to the article I'm referencing below. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I think we need to start doing better as a community uh, expressing you know what it's actually like to travel in, a, in an electric vehicle not focusing solely on on the negative again uh, thank you and if you uh, you know you enjoyed this video please uh 
like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. Uh, and I'll continue doing this and uh, adding uh, more topics as time goes by because I think there's a lot of interesting things to discuss. All right, thank you.